guys, I hope you enjoy this Zentangle art tutorial. It's one of my favorite types of artwork to do, so I hope that you enjoy it too. Have fun following along. Okay guys, so today we are going to make this super cool Zentangled inspired abstract artwork. All you need is a piece of paper and any type of marker, pencil, pastel, or anything you can make lines with. I used a Sharpie because I like the bold lines it creates. Just keep in mind, if you're sensitive to smells, a Sharpie may be a little overwhelming. So grab whatever works for you and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a line across the paper from corner to corner. I like making it slightly curved with a fun little point in the middle. Then we are going to draw dots semi-evenly dispersed throughout the line. Next, we are simply going to connect the dots. As you can see, I'm connecting one dot to the closest dot next to it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other dots. I like doing some that follow previous lines and some that curve out a little bit more. The lines should be close to the same thickness, but they don't have to be perfect by any means. I basically treat the corners as if they are dots too. Since the main line we created runs off the paper, I just let my connect the dot lines do the same thing. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other corner. Then we are going to start creating new lines from the dots. These lines are slightly curvy and run off the paper. I put some on one side of the paper and some on the other side. Your lines don't have to be in the exact same places as mine. Feel free to experiment putting them in different places or whatever you think looks cool. And then just like we did with the first line, we are going to add dots to these lines as well. These dots don't have to be the same distance apart. In fact, I think it makes it look more interesting to have them at slightly different distances. So some can be closer together, some can be further apart. It really doesn't matter. Just whatever works for you. These lines run off the edge of the paper too. Um, on this one, I kind of created a dot for it to connect to, but the other ones, it's fine if they run off the paper or just kind of go to an imaginary place. <laughs> Next, you guessed it, we are just going to do the same thing again. Draw more lines from any of your dots that you want. Just try to put the lines in the empty parts of your paper. At this point, we are just trying to fill up the entire paper. So then you add your dots to these lines and connect the dots just like we did the other ones. Sometimes it'll get to the point where we just have little spaces and you just create lines to fill up the spaces. They don't necessarily have to totally connect to the dots or even make sense for that matter. You just need to fill in the spaces with more lines. One thing to keep in mind is I try to not draw lines on top of lines that I've already created, but rather I draw around them. Um, we just don't want them to overlap. Just they can touch and be next to each other, but just try not to overlap them. So we're almost there guys. Uh, just keep filling in all the remaining spaces and adding more lines and more dots until your entire paper is filled up. Now that your paper is completely filled up with lines, you are done. If you would like to take it a step further and add some color, you definitely can. Feel free to use whatever you have on hand. It's your art and totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.